morning everyone lovely to have you with me it's carol here at oak house journals thank you for joining me today so it's monday and on a monday i love doing my collage assignments that have been set by marguerite miller as part of her 2024 collage um, weekly challenge it's always a mouthful to say that i don't know why but i find it a mouthful Anyway, I've got the assignment prompts for week 24 here in front of me and I've got my choices here of what I'm going to create my collage out of today. So the first one is something from the recycling bin. Well, we had tuna salad last night and I took this label off the tin and uh, rescued it from the top of literally our recycling bin so I'm going to be using that for prompt number one today um, and I'm also going to use this for one of the other prompts but I'll come to that in a moment the next prompt or prompt number two is a bottle or a glass as you can see I've gone for a bottle and I've printed off two images exactly the same images but slightly different sizes because I wasn't sure which size I wanted to to work with but I just thought that was a, a lovely image so I'm going to be using that a piece of wrapping paper I quite often wrap in mulberry paper I just think it looks lovely especially this blue that I have quite a bit of because I also have this which is Avril twine and as you can see it's beautiful aquatones and I think it just makes a really pretty parcel so I'm not going with conventional wrapping paper I'm going with a couple of scraps of this lovely blue mulberry paper and as you can see it's got some lovely veins this is the biggest piece I've got so I haven't measured it here but I'm hoping it will fit or I have these little scraps if not I'll just pull a piece from um, some other uh, sheets that I've got but ideally I'd like to make use of these a favorite food well my favorite food is fish if we go out to a restaurant the first thing I always seem to want to cast my eye over is what fish they've got on the menu so I've lifted out this little image of a shoal of fish and that's why I said that I would be able to make use of this as well um, what else have we got text in a different alphabet well I'm always using this Asian text from my favorite book so I've got a piece of that I also have these these are little vellum decorative pieces as you can see there now there's no text on those but there is text on the packet and also if I can just get this stray one back in its place there is also some text on this label so I might cut up or rip up this packaging and use that or the other option I have are these now these are little washi stickers there we go adhesive stickers and these have different size text on them one of these three options will be my choice for that prompt um, bonus three of something well I've gone for three seagulls and I've printed them off two different sizes same image two different sizes because same as the bottle picture or bottle image I don't know which size I'm going to be going for so if I use the larger bottle image then obviously I'll use the larger image of seagulls and vice versa so that's my bonus choice and then I've printed off this which is a photograph that we took whilst on holiday in Alaska last year and the colours were just absolutely gorgeous and I thought that would be lovely to use today as part of my background. So let's get started. I'm going to pop my um, prompts ahead of me as always. Let's check out this to see if it's going to be the right size. Well it certainly fits inside my border. It's shy top and bottom but that's not really a problem. I'm thinking maybe I'll try and put this on here pull the mulberry paper over to my margin there if I use this then I could pull that in there thinking that might be a bit big so let's change it out maybe put that one in the bottom of this image here goes into greeny tones and obviously the water on here or the ocean on here is green so I'm just lining up this bottom edge with the horizon on that bottle and I like how that looks yeah 
<laughs> liking that already. Let me just take that away and see if I can work with the big one. Um, this little picture has no white border on it, whereas obviously this one does. If I go with this one, I'll take away that white border. Yeah, I quite like that. Wondering how I can get this in. Pull that in. Oh, it's got red there. What a shame. Okay. What I'm thinking is I could pull this in down the side and make use of the colour. I'd cut the white barcode away and the rest of this away and make use of just the text there. So I'm going to do that. Let's let's just open that out for now. I'm going to straighten up this edge here. I'm going to save that because I'm sure at some stage Margaret Miller is going to say you need barcode. So I'm going to save that. Um, yes, back to this. So I was thinking maybe I could have this tucked in here, maybe staggered like that. I'm going to take away the border on, on here. Similarly, I'm going to trim this down. I am liking that, but I haven't got enough room. This is going well outside my working area. So I haven't got enough room to get that image in unless I obscure part of it by tucking it underneath. And that feels a shame to do, actually. No, I'm not liking that. Such a shame because I do like that image. OK, let's have a look at this one. Trim it down. As I said before, I may well decide to change this image out and go with the smaller one that I've got up here. Sorry, I'm off screen there for you, aren't I? So I'm going to pull this down a little bit. I'm not averse to that. It does go outside my working area a bit, but I never mind it going out too much. But this image went right out of um, right to the far edge. So that wasn't going to work. Let's have a look at these. These are going to be, I think, my obvious choice. My eye is taking me to this area here to have them. And I'm thinking something quite heavy like that to pull the eye down here. Oh, that one might work. I'm looking at these two lines here and my seagulls. I was thinking about fussy cutting these and having them on my bottle. OK, I'm going to go away now and I'm going to fussy cut round my bottle and I'm going to fussy cut round my seagulls and then I'll be back. I've gone for the larger bottle and I fussy cut it out and as you can see I've just gone for a little bit below the horizon here so that it will sit nicely on my page. And the seagulls are fussy cut as well. I've gone for the larger ones and I'm just going to flip this image over and that one and that one and just put my seagulls off to one side for the moment. I've got my portion of something from the recycle bin tucked down this side and I've got this where I want it. As you can see here I've put in one of those scraps of the mulberry paper down this left hand side so there's the join there. It's slightly overlapping, it's not a join, because I wanted to have a rough edge down there. So I'm, I'm more or less liking how that's looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lift up that corner and put some glue in this bottom corner to hold everything together. As you saw, I've just rubbed out those lines because when I come to glue this down, the mulberry paper would have been over the top and that would have um, caused a little bit of an issue. So I'm going to have that something like that, maybe rub away a little bit more up there and here. So it's going to be very much rough edged. Um, I'm going to get in place my seagulls now and I still need to put a little bit more glue under this bit. There we go, that's my seagulls in place. I'm loving how they look. Um, I'm going to have this down here and take it off the side. So let's glue this one in place. 
and I want to position it so I can get that nice little wavy piece coming over the top. There we go. And I need to get in these and I'm wondering whether or not to put a strip of the mulberry paper down the side there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and I'm going to try and wiggle in a piece of this down the side. I think it would be nice to have it there. Uh, if it doesn't work, I can always take it away, can't I? So I'll try and bring it down a little bit more and have it like that. Yep, okay. So let's put some glue behind here. Now I do want that on there, but I actually want them fairly close together. So I'm going to trim this down. I've trimmed these pieces down as much as I want to, and they're going to go on here something like, like that. But what I thought I would do is just audition this behind my piece to see if I like it. So I need to trim this down and see how that will work. So let me do that. Now I like having that underneath there, but I haven't got enough to actually frame my piece. So I'm wondering whether to cut another piece and have it down here. So let me just look at this on this side. What I'm liking about this is that I've got the text underneath and that I feel is, is working nicely. So I am going to cut another piece and I'm liking that I've just got odd bits showing there and I will have some more showing here. So let me cut another piece and I'll be back. I've laid up a couple of those pieces of book page behind my piece and I'm going to glue those in place now. So I'm just going to carefully lift this away. So I'm just going to have that on my piece like that and pull this one in over the top so that I've got some staggering going on up there a little bit down in this corner. So I'm going to put some glue on the back here. Flip that over, smooth it down, and now I'm going to glue the whole of this onto my background. So, these are the next thing I want to get on, and I'm thinking that I'm going to have one here, slightly on and slightly off, and the other one I was planning to have here. Not sure if I'm liking that. This area down here is giving me a little bit of concern, and this area as well. I'm wondering if I can just get away with one of those on there and soften that left-hand side. And then with this one, whether I have it something like that uh, to break up that corner. Let's get this one in place first because this one I definitely know I want where I had it. So let me get this one in position. Yeah, I'm liking that, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm going to add a couple of pieces down here to sort of add some detail in this corner and then I need to think of something for down here I'm not liking how that looks so first things first I'm going to put this down here and what can I put down there I've got that barcode just looking for the rest of the wrapper from the tin of tuna. I'm going to save that. Um, 
that green I don't want down there. It's too big. I certainly don't want tuna chunks written um, written on my piece. I'm wondering about the um, responsibly sourced square that's there. I think it looks better staggered half on and half off. So that's what... Oh, maybe drop it down a little bit. Actually, no, I'm going to drop it down a little bit like that. Yep, perfect. That's what I'm going to do. So let me put some glue behind this. So that's another piece of rescue from the recycling bin. Okay, everybody, that's my finished piece for this week's assignment. Not my finest work. Um, it worked better in my mind's eye than it has done on the page, but hopefully I'll, I'll grow to love it. Let's go through the prompts and see how I've managed to hit those. I'm just going to put the pin in my glue because it dries up too quick, doesn't it? So first things first, something from the recycled bin. Well, I used my tuna label and I used a portion down the back here and then this little piece down there. A bottle or a glass, well I went with my bottle here and my ship inside it. A piece of wrapping paper, well I've got my mulberry paper as my wrapping paper all the way round. And it is loose all the way round, even down this side where I've put my labels. Trust me it is. There we go, it's loose. A favourite food, fish. So I've got my tuna there. Text in a different alphabet. Well, I've got my washi stickers here, my Asian washi stickers. And I've also got my book text in the background or book page, Japanese or Chinese, I don't know. And the bonus prompt was three of something. Well, I went with my three seagulls perching on top of my bottle. Thank you as always for joining me. I really do enjoy your company and I love reading your comments. So if you're minded and would like to do so, please leave me a comment. I always reply and I'll leave you with some photographs so you can have a, a closer look at this. So until next week, take care, enjoy your crafting if you get time to do some and I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.